Our next step is going to be to set up Dreamweaver. So if you remember from our last step, we got our FTP settings from the cPanel. So we're going to have to find a site in Dreamweaver. I'm running in Windows 8. And I'm going to bring up Dreamweaver. I actually will create a shortcut for that later on my toolbar down here at the bottom. Dreamweaver is actually one of my favorite programs. A little interesting history. This was not originally owned by Adobe. I've been using Dreamweaver so long that when I first used it, it was actually owned by Macromedia. Now you're going to notice that my site's a little different than yours because I already have this set up. But I'm going to refresh it. And it's I have multiple sites in here, so I've got my Web 105 site, but I need to set up a new one for Web 175. I'm going to explain two possible ways to do this. So I'm going to create a new site, and I'm going to call it Web 175, and I need to find it in my existing sites. So I have Well, actually, I have nothing in here yet, so I'm going to go ahead and create a, a new folder for this. So I'm going to hit that, and I'm going to call it Web 175, and I'm going to remember that I have it stored in my Documents folder. And I'm going to hit Open, and I'm going to hit Select. And this is really pretty much the way you should be starting. And then I'm going to have to go to the Servers, and I'm going to have to add my server on. Now my server, I'm just going to call it Web 175 because I'm also teaching various other classes, JavaScript, web scripting, things like that. So I have bunches of files out here and I reset up a different site for each one. So my FTP address here is going to be mary.mccdgm.net. My username is Mary. Important to spell that right. And my password is whatever I changed it to when I was forced to reset it. Okay, now if I test this now, it's, it's going to work, but it's not going to be right. So if I hit test, it tells me that it works, but that's not correct because I don't want to be just doing this at the root level. I want to put it in public underscore HTML. And then I want to go on one step further and I want to do forward slash web 175 because this is going to be specifically a site for this class. And then I want to test that again. For that to work, you have to cr have created your folder like we did in the first video for this class. Once that's done, I can hit save. I can hit save. And this brings me into this main screen. But I'm actually going to do one thing further because when I was in cPanel, I set up a few folders. So I can select the whole site and I can hit download. And I should have a blank index page that I set up. And my labs, images, and CSS folders, which are at this point, should be completely empty. Oh, I forgot I put Eli in labs. Eli should be in images. So I can move that around and I can refresh the site. This is syncing it. And I'm going to synchronize the entire site. And I'm going to hit preview. And so it's going to tell me I should get Eli, but really I just want to put Eli. So I'm going to select put and I'm going to, on this one, I want to delete the Eli in labs. So I want Eli to exist in images, but not in labs because it's a picture. So I'm going to hit OK. And that will synchronize my site. Now if you're working on multiple computers, that's how you keep everything up to date. The last thing you do when you leave is you upload your site, and the first thing that you do when you start is you download it to make sure that you're on exactly the same copy. Otherwise you can get into version control, which I'm not going to get into right in this video. So this leaves me where I can get started editing my first file. To create a new file when you're in Dreamweaver, see I have index.html, this is going to link to my other options, but our first video is going to be in labs. So I've created the folder here, I'm going to right click on it, 
And before we actually create any labs, I'm going to create a new file inside of my labs. And again, I'm going to call it index.html because that's going to organize all of the lab folders or all of the lab files that we do. So if I double click on that, I'm in here where I can work in it. This really isn't a hand coding class, but it is set up. I've been using this already, so it's giving me HTML5 by default, and you can tell that with the doc type HTML. Typically in this class, I'm either going to work in the split view or in the design view. Now personally, I like to code, and it's good to know it because you can really set up and take total control. But there are a few things I want you to set up in every blank page. You're always going to start with the title. And this one's going to be Mary's lab directory. And I'm going to have a little bit of fun here. It's really easy to work in Dreamweaver. I can just type. It's just like working in Word. And you can do that. You can put up your full first name. Now, this is going live on the internet. You may not want to do that. You may want to, however you want to do it. I, I don't care if people see this on the internet. Otherwise, I wouldn't be putting my videos out for the whole world to see. There's nothing personal or embarrassing here. So I'm going to just have links to lab one. But that's not really what I want to do. What I really want to do is I want to insert a table. And I want it to be, eh, we'll say 15 rows. That's going to be a good start. Two columns, table width 90%, uh, border thickness of one pixel, cell padding. I'm going to say three. And this lets you determine if you're having a header cell and the top is going to be a header and the left is going to be a header. And that's important because it actually changes, actually I want both, and the caption will be lab and description. These are the web 175 lab assignments. Now these are important things that I'm putting in here because they would help for browsers for the blind. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And we're really going to get into this later, but it's just putting a caption in here for me. Now there are things I like and things I dislike about this setup. I'm going to leave it as is for right now. We're going to go ahead and move that over and this is going to be lab number, lab description. So we're going to put in, for each one, lab number one. And this is going to be your first page. And I'm not completely, totally in love with the way the page looks. I'm not going to spend a lot of time, but I do want to show you that you can go simply into the page properties, and you can handle both the appearance of both CSS and HTML. So right now it's the default font of whatever a user has set as their default font in their browser. I really prefer a sans serif. So these are font families, and I'm kind of a fan of, I think I'm going to use this one. Sans serif works better on monitors. Now size here, we could set to, these are by default are pixels. So I'm going to go ahead and leave them as 14. I'm not going to play with the text color or background color here, but I could. Um, and we have other options that we'll get into in future videos. But my the big thing I wanted to do is I wanted to change everything to being a sans serif font because I really prefer that. Now the next thing that I'm going to do, I have a few things that I just really prefer in page layout. I want this table to be centered. So here I'm going to select the table and this gives me some basic options for it. I'm going to choose to center the table. And then I also want to select my name here up at the top and I don't want it to be a paragraph. I want it to be heading one. And that's pretty traditional. You should have a heading one tag at the beginning of most pages. And then I can format that as well. I'm going to go into the CSS and I'm going to modify the default heading title rules for the H1. So I can actually add a new CSS rule. And this is, Dreamweaver is so powerful. I love this. And I'm going to hit edit one and I can choose any element. And I'm going to choose the ID. Nope, that's not what I want. I want the tag. I'm going to redefine the H1 tag. I'm going to hit OK. And I really just want to make it a couple changes. I'm going to make it 
purple because that's one of my favorite colors. And I'm going to make the font size a little bit larger. And I want my H1 tag to be bold. And then I want to go into my box set. Nope, my block setting because this is where my text alignment is and I want to go into center. I'm going to hit apply here. I'm going to hit OK. So this is a really simple website and I want to finish saying what I was going to say here. Mary's Web 175 Lab Samples. And so you're going to pretty much set up a page like this linking to each of your lab samples to make it easy for me to find and grade them. One of the cool things about Dreamweaver is that you can then go into split mode and I can see all of the code that it created for me. And you can see that it's significantly faster to work in Dreamweaver, but if I wanted to go and tweak the code, I could. And it's put in my CSS right here for the page. And we're going to be playing with a lot of these different things. Now, it's really important that with the start of this class that you understand some of the basics of HTML and CSS. So hopefully this is not the first time you're seeing code. If it is, that's okay. We're going to do a quick review of it over the next week and a half or so. So if you'd like to, you can go ahead and create a simple page like this. Have it say your name and your lab directory or your lab samples. And I kind of like samples better than directory. And this is my index page for my lab. It's not, my, this is technically, this should be my first lab, but we're going to do a real lab after this. But this is just getting set up so that I can link to things. Now here I can link to this. I could actually make it a little easier to link to by calling it lab one. And that just gives you a bigger area to click on. And I'm going to highlight it. And in here, I'm going to go back to my HTML and the link will be to lab one. Actually, it works better if you do it lab zero one or really zero one lab.html because that's what I'm going to name it. And the reason I changed that is because that will make them neatly line up because I know we're going to have more than 10 and it's going to alphabetize them. If I start with zero one, they're going to show up in order. So by putting it what it's going to be named, I know that the link will work as soon as I create the page. And it's always going to look in the same folder if I don't put a directory path. If, the, if it already existed, there are some better ways over here for finding my link than, rather than just typing it in. And I'll show you those in some of the future labs. So just for getting set up, your index page should just have a table. And you can play with your widths here just by dragging them around. I'm not going to tell you how wide they are. And for me, you can add CSS if you want to. I just liked things centered and pretty. Now I like to test these. And right now what I did, I'm on a Windows machine. I have Mac as well if you have any questions. I hit F12. That's going to launch it in whatever browser I have set by default. And whenever you launch it, it's going to ask you to, if you want to save changes to index. I'm going to hit yes. And here you go. This is what it looks like. When it's, when it's published, that's what it's going to look like. So great, I'm happy with that. So what I want to do now, and there's two ways to do it, I want to upload this. So I can do this right here by choosing put, and yes, I'm going to include dependent files, there aren't any, um, there will be in the future, and then I can go back out and I can check here, you'll notice mary.mccdgm.net web175index.html. Well, that's the page we were just modifying. So I need to refresh it. And if I did this right, it should upload. So I'm concerned because I'm not seeing it uploading. Oh, that's because I did the index in the labs page, not the top level index. Let's fix that. So here we will just make this really simple. Um, I'm not going to format it or anything. I'm just going to put labs and then we will have projects. I'll add more to this later. This is just my top level index page. And let's go ahead and let me show you. We're going to link to an existing page. So I've selected labs and I'm just going to drag right there. Lab slash index.html. This is not a good page. I will put my title in here. 
Mary's one seven, web 175 and I'm going to choose file save all and I'm gonna hit this up there and I'm gonna hit put and there we go and now let's refresh it Mary's web 175 if I click on labs here's my lab samples so you're gonna see that Dreamweaver is really a lot faster than hand coding. It gives you a lot of control, but knowing how to hand code before you start will give you a lot more power because you'll really understand how layout works. So that's just getting you set up so you can start working. You should set up your server, do the basic pages that I just did, a couple of index pages, with just your name on them. Just make sure that you can upload to the browser and find it because you're going to have to copy and paste your links. So when you're getting ready to hand them in in class, you're going to select and copy and then you'll paste your link into the um, Canvas page to hand in your assignments because you're going to hand in links. So test that, make sure it's working. You won't hand in this particular one, but I will check for it in a future assignment.